Hello friends, Simo here and welcome back to the story of our soldier Darius. Thank you guys so much for the support uh, over the last two videos, the previous two episodes. It has been insane. Keep crushing it with the likes and the comments and I'll keep bringing you episodes of uh, Darius's journey. Now, just a little recap so uh, that uh, today's episode makes sense. Uh, you guys remember that in the first episode, we started out with Darius, a young imperial man whose village was burned down by the Kuzei. So he sought to join the imperial army to avenge both himself and to help restore the glorious Calradian Empire by defeating all its enemies. Now in the second episode, as you all know, Emperor Lucan, the man we are enlisted uh, under, has actually lost two cities. Uh, I think it was three actually to the Kuzei since we took one from them. They took it back and then took two of ours. And then, instead of doing something about it, like Darius wanted him to do, he just peaced out with them. And now, we're down to five cities. We're probably the weakest faction in the game right now. That really, really pissed off Darius. But then, something happened. Yup, you're seeing that right. The Western Empire has declared war on us. Now, can you guess why? Why would they declare war on us right after we showed that we're super weak and we could be uh, uh, conquered by a bunch of savages? Yeah, it beats me as well, but it doesn't beat Darius. They declared war on us because they think we're weak, because they think Lucan is demented. He's insane. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's not a military genius. The Empire is going to fall because of this man's incompetence. And Darius has had enough of it. Darius, as well as many others in the army, know that if Lucan keeps going this way, it's, it's bad news for the Empire. It is bad news for the Empire. So I know I said that I was going to make a Kenshi video before this uh, episode... Uh, has come out but seeing as you guys have just destroyed that like button on the previous episode and i keep seeing all the comments asking for more i just can't man i, I can't oh what is this a caravan now nah, the others can the others can take care of it seeing as you guys have been enjoying this so much i felt guilty that, that i would make you wait longer for the third episode so i thought you know what i'll make this episode for them and uh, Kenshi will have to wait, I guess. So I'll try to make it next time. Look at this. Look at this. We're sieging down. The other lords are sieging down a castle. But Lucan won't do shit. And instead of being on the front lines and fighting this, he's... I don't even know what he's doing. Hunting looters or something. You do realize the battlefield is on the other side, right? And as as I told you, just keep people just keep deserting. Because why would they not, man? Why would they not? This... <sighs> shitty leader now i'm making sure i buy beer for my party every time we stop at a uh, at a town because uh trying to build up my popularity in the in the party for reasons that you might have already uh, um figured out now again we are uh considering starting a mutiny here but in order to do that we need at least 50 popularity with our uh, with our fellow uh, soldiers now the way mutiny works i'm pretty certain that you basically try to convince other soldiers to follow you and rebel against the uh, against the the emperor you basically seize his war chest most of the time he doesn't let it go without a fight so the people loyal to him will fight you and the people loyal to you so you gotta be very very careful about when you start a mutiny yo the good people of umbrella are rising up against the Kuzei and trying to become part of the empire again the sons of the empire are such noblemen but emperor lucan the fucking coward is sending the empire down on a spiral of defeat my contempt for lucan grows daily please stay as an independent faction please do not come back into the empire it's a joke right now guys it is a joke do not join us what the fuck an army of looters, 64 looters, what are they, what are they doing out here? <laughs> and Darius just rushing, rushing to kill these fucking looters. He hasn't seen action in a while, man. He is bloodthirsty. Haha, <laughs> stop right there, criminal scum. No escape! No one escapes! 
Get your ass back here. Get your ass back here. Get your ass back here. <laughs> Just took that guy's leg off. Yeah, that's right. Run away, you criminal scum. People who do not care about the prosperity of the Empire are all enemies of Darius. What the fuck are you so happy about? Fucking f killing looters, basically unarmed men? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, would you look at that though? Our popularity is rising. Here's another tournament. Let's actually, let's uh, participate in this one. Because we do need uh, some money to keep buying beer for our party. <laughs> Lucon is in this one as well. Can we go for the triple humiliation? Alright, let's wait it out. Let them fight. Let them fight. We can wait this out. The two remaining teams always qualify, so as long as one of them goes down, uh, we qualify for the next uh, round. And as I said, we really need the money, so we're gonna wait this out, okay? <laughs> right, enough is enough. You guys are fucking terrible. <laughs> I'll do it myself. There we go. And there we go. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you to the people. Darius. <laughs> Darius, once again. Alright, you, come here. Ooh, I couldn't dodge that. Hey, the hero of the people, Darius, wins once more. Alright, it's a 1v1 until the end of the tournament. I'm pretty sure I can get it. Darius is a lethal man, a well-trained man. And a hired blade, huh? A mercenary. Someone who... Profits from people's suffering. At this honorable man, he can never take down Darius. Darius is a blessed son of the Empire, an honorable man. Come here, I'll show you what real men are made of. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! And let's sell that lens real quick to make some money. Good money, actually. And we walk out with 3,200 dinars. That is great. What the hell? What are we doing over here? Is this real? Lucon is... Oh, he just chased this guy all the way out here. I, I Dude, I was, I was getting surprised that... What are we doing in the front line? This is not like you, Lucon. But turns out he's just following some useless party around. Can't we join that army? The <sighs> Lucon, can't we join that army right there? Look at them. Join the army, Lucon. Join the fucking army, you fucker. He's going back. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And we're back to the Athmagan. Yeah, fighting looters. Of course. That's what we need to do right now. Okay. All right, Lucon. What is this? Look at this super fast looter. Where are you going? You t you guys, come here. Come on. Fucking throw a rock at me, you fucker. <laughs> Got him. Ooh. Fucking hell, I hate how we can't catch up to these guys. These are free kills right there, just running away from us. Oh god, I did kill a few of them though. Don't even try, boys. You're not, if you're not cavalry, you're not getting those guys. Ooh! We just got a promotion! I'm a veteran infantryman, baby! I stand the line with my infantryman brothers. Also, hold up, my popularity is at 70 and I still can't start a mutiny. 
Oh, it's 50 fame, not popularity. Oh, fuck. Can I increase my fame through buying people drinks? I think fame degrades over time, though. That's the problem. Let's see. Ooh! Fame is at 52, boys. Fame is at 52. Now, boys, you did see that Darius was a fair man. He gave Lucan a chance to prove that he was still loyal towards the cause of the Empire. But as you saw throughout this episode, Lucan is not interested in upholding the best interests of the Empire. He refuses to fight its uh, enemies. He refuses to seize land. He lets the sons of the Empire bleed and die for the Empire without giving them any help. And for that, I label him a traitor. Me and the rest of my friends start a mutiny. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit, guys, it's happening. It's happening. I revolt against the Emperor. You seized the party treasure chest and gained 7,700 gold? And we're about to fight him. He won't let it go without a fight. Look at that! That's Darius! That's Darius fighting the Emperor! <laughs> also, we managed to... Yeah, there were so many people against Lucan. Look at that shit. I managed to pull 52 soldiers with me. And like 31 remained loyal to that bastard. Now, let's crush these traitors. Look, we need to be super careful about this. And I'll tell you why. Because the people who did not rebel with us think about it who are the people who did not agree to rebel with us it's probably the people with the highest ranks because think about it who would benefit the most with from staying with lucon it's people with the highest salaries and the highest positions so we're probably fighting at a disadvantage here so let's stay tight in formation let's not fight out of formation and uh fuck we just gotta pray for the best here we just gotta pray for the best. Like, come on, archers. Come on, boys. We got this. Alright, that's nice. I think we're doing some damage. There he is, there's Lucon. Stay in formation, boys! Stay in formation. Aw, oh, fuck. It just got shot. In formation, boys. Alright, come back, come back. Cavalry, come back. Aw, oh, god damn it. They're mowing down the cavalry. Alright, let's fight the infantry. Come on, stay in formation, boys. We got this. We got this. Oh! Several soldiers made names for themselves. You can choose up to two to fight at your side as a companion. Both. Oh! Oh! Did we win? We Guys, we won. And two of our boys... Oh, Obron the Red, previously Imperial Elite Menavliaton, has finally found glory on the battlefield. Before this, and besides training for battle, they, they were medics. And Gregorus the Shark. Shark? Yo! He was a smith. But hey, do we win? Boys, we won! We won! The rebellion has succeeded! Let's go! And from this battlefield rises Darius. A leader of the true sons of the Empire, along with his companions, also free sons of the Empire, who truly care about her. I really hope that someone killed Lucan, guys. I really hope someone dropped Lucan. What a day. What a lovely day. Someone dropped Lucan! Someone dropped Lucan! You will pay, you motherfucker. You will pay for what you've done. And we will imprison all of these traitors. We will imprison them all. What the fuck? Look what we looted from them. 
Look all, at all this shit we looted from them. Let's go. Also, let me look at my companions here. Obron the Red. A brother. A true brother of the Empire. And Gregos the Shark. Welcome, my brothers. Welcome. What the fuck? I feel like I'm cheating. Look how valuable these armors are. What on earth? But you know what? We're gonna seize it all until you guys decide what we do with all of this. All right? You guys will decide what we do with this. I'm gonna give out these armors to the boys who distinguish themselves in battle. Yeah, for sure. For sure we're gonna do that. Emperor Lucan, for your crimes against the Empire, including neglecting your duties as Emperor, losing lands to the Savage Kuzate, abandoning the sons of the Empire and letting them die and shying away from fighting with the Western Empire after they challenged us. I find you guilty of treason and hereby sentence you to death. Any last words? I didn't think so. Darius has gained the devious trait. I see, my honor now is being put into question, huh? And uh, it seems that I'm uh, enemies with the entirety of the Northern Empire. We do need to escape now. They may not understand what I've done today, but it's for their best. And one of these days, I will come back and I will free the Empire. Not just from its tyrants, but from the whole world. Darius will keep moving forward until his enemies are destroyed. Well then, this should be far enough. We can hide in Ortesia for a while, gather ourselves up with the rest of the soldiers, and then uh, we'll decide what to do from there, huh? But what an episode this was, and Darius' journey is uh, developing so strangely. Started as a very impressionable uh, young man joining the army thinking that Lucan is the solution to all the Empire's woes, but then slowly but surely he started realizing that there's more to it than just that, and slowly getting fed up with uh, Lucan until he could not take it anymore and just took over along with uh, these like-minded individuals. And here we are now with a 45-man strong warband of uh, true sons of the Empire who want to see it thrive and defeat all its enemies and with two loyal companions that have proved themselves in the battle. So I'm not sure what the plan is from here on, on, uh, on out. Uh, we really, really need to build up uh, an army if we're, uh, we are to take one of the Empire cities and then uh, try and uh, become the true leader of the Empire. But that's going to take a lot of time. Personally, I think we're just going to have to do some jobs and uh, work our way towards that. You know, do we, we need to make a name for ourselves and have some exploits around the world uh to prove our uh, legitimacy of course we are a king slayer uh so uh it will be harder for us to prove ourselves and to prove to the empire why we did what we did but uh yeah slowly but surely with time i'm pretty sure we can do that but again any suggestions or uh ideas are highly welcomed in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. And it's so satisfying to finally see Lucan get off his bullshit or actually be forced off his bullshit by Darius. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how where this is uh, uh, gonna go from here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, episode uh, four is probably gonna come out in a week and a half to two weeks because I do need to make that Kenshi video. But yeah, just uh, stay on the lookout for it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.